Welcome into Red Empress Tarot. I'm Patty. I'm an intuitive, a reader, and a healer on the Twin Flame path myself here to read you a message for your Twin Flame journey. I believe that if you have found this video and this channel, you've been guided to do so. Uh, if you love the content, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the tribe. Make sure that you tap into your intuition. Make sure that you are following your internal guidance. It's really important. And every thumbs up to the video is so valuable. I love every one of you. Thank you so much. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. Welcome to this week's mirror message. This is a reading for twin flames in separation or challenge. Um, for those of you who are new to the mirror message, it's a he said, she said spread. We look at the um, thoughts, feelings, and blocks, challenges, or things that people are working through for both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. I'm also going to um, wrap that reading up with some um, oracle cards from my Modern Love Oracle deck. And for the first time, I'm using my Modern Love Lyrics Oracle deck. Um, I just took this out of the package the other day. I just finished it, sent it off to print, got it back. So I have here 140 different song lyrics. This deck is massive. Like my, my regular decks are much bigger than they're about like double your standard Oracle deck. There are a hundred cards. Uh, this lyrics deck, I could not stop myself. <laughs> So there are 140 different song lyrics um, to channel for you guys. So we're going to end up with some channeled song lyrics as well as some um, oracle message from, from the Modern Love Oracle. So let's start with some Palo Santo. I've already called on spirit, grounded and protected, so we're good with that. So we'll just clear the energy of the space. Welcome back to my subscribers. I love you guys. I'm so glad you're here, my soul family. Um, so the channel is growing too. New people are finding it all the time and I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you to all the new people as well. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Be part of this beautiful community we're building. I'm, I'm really so um, proud and blessed to be part of it. The people here are stunningly amazing. I'm, I'm really... Um, so proud of, of what we're building here. All right, let's look at a little Palo Santo going. Get a little smoke to clear the energy of the space and the cards. Okay. We'll see what the energy is like in the Twin Flame Collective right now. Make sure that you're tapping into your intuition and taking into yourself, like, you know, uh, um, assimilating into your life messages that fit your story. We're all in different waves in the Twin Flame collection, collection, collective. And, um, you know, there, there are certain ones of us that are on the same wave and we'll all have the same message. And I really do believe that if you're called to come to a mirror message or, or one of the other readings, it's because there's something there for you. But it's not always the whole message, so you have to interpret, okay, what what did this message have for me? Sometimes it's going to be the whole thing is spot on. Sometimes there's going to be something you're going to really pick out of there. And sometimes it's just to see where the collective can be if you're not that in that space yet. Um, it's This is a really tough journey, being a twin flame. Um, there's, there is not a lot, a lot of glamour or glitz <laughs> in this journey. Some people try and romanticize it. And yes, you can have amazing romantic feelings for your person. And when you're in relationship with them, that can be absolutely stunning, but it's a lot of work. It's just a lot of work. And um, I'm here to help you have a heads up for what may going, be going on in um, the present or the future so you can make the best, most informed choice going forward for you. Tarot readings are always literally just a heads up to give you the opportunity to adjust your choices if that's going to help you go in a more positive direction. That's all it's about. Okay, it's not a prediction of the future. No one can predict the future because free will exists and you you just can't know what choices the other people will make. So 
that is what it's about. It's very valuable um, being in a community with other people that understand that journey, a journey that a lot of people on the planet don't get is also very valuable to have just someone to vent to, talk to, someone that gets you, <laughs> gets the unique thing that you're going through. Okay, so I'm getting a couple pre-messages because I wasn't pulling for anything yet. So before we start the mirror message, and I, I don't get this very often, but I mean, they flew out and I feel like there's a reason. So we got Queen of Swords and Ten of Swords. Look, there's, okay, I'm not always going to say this about the Queen of Swords. It depends on the deck. This particular deck, I bought this recently. It's a new deck. One of the reasons I bought it is because it's just gorgeous and all that blue energy, all that throat chakra energy uh, felt really good to me and all the gold, the solar plexus, like going with that. But um, there are descriptions at the bottom of the cards and I feel like they're going to play into the readings where I pull this deck. So the Queen of Swords can mean different things depending on what other things are around it. Um, the intuitive hit you get when it comes out. And I just, I just also want to let you know, um, reading cards isn't just about memorizing the cards and, and kind of knowing the basic meaning and, and regurgitating that. It's about tapping in to spirit, really listening to what's coming through, and then using the cards to interpret what's coming through you. So it's, it's not just about dictionary definitions of cards. It's really about what you get intuitively and then the cards help you focus that. I, I don't even need cards to read, um, but I feel like it makes people, it gives people that confirmation uh, that what I'm channeling is genuine for one thing you know a lot of a lot of skeptics out there but also it just it really helps to see the cards come out and really play into what's happening so one one thing I want to say here and I I don't want to make I'm hoping the reading was it really isn't all about a karmic situation but in this Queen of Swords card particularly it says cold hard demanding authority figure and it's a feminine energy and there's a Ten of Swords here, death ending of a situation, a relationship. There is someone that's in relationship with Queen of Swords, someone cold, hard, and demanding. Someone that is really a challenging human. Um, it, it's likely the Divine Masculine that is in relationship with this person, and it's ending. Dead. Look at this Ten of Swords. Dead. This could be a present situation. This is, could be something that is about to happen. I don't feel like it's happened already. I don't get like the past, a past energy with this. I get like now or almost. And look, remember, this is going to be different from all for all of you. For those of you um, divine feminines watching, if you have a divine masculine that is in a karmic situation, the first thing to know about that is you can't affect it. And you shouldn't. Karmic situations are there to teach us things, and if, if someone else intervenes in that in some way, you don't learn what you need to learn. And so you're going to get that lesson again in the future, and nah, nobody really wants that. It's hard enough as it is. So look, I want to say something before we even start, and this is for Divine Feminines particularly. Okay, I have actually 50-50 on my channel, male, female, which is really interesting because usually, I mean, when you think about tarot readings, that's often a much higher percent of feminines. But when I look at my statistics, you know, my analytics, it's actually really closer to half, half. So I've got a lot of divine masculines for some reason, or, or divine feminines who are male that watch my channel. And, you know, it could be still a higher percentage of divine feminines. And I'm sure that's the case, but, um, Look, with the Divine Masculine Energy, your Divine Masculine may have chosen to be with a karmic partner. That may be a short-term thing. That may be a long-term thing. And if you've been around the Twin Flame journey enough, you know that 
you know, the traditional setup, right? The, the kind of way that a twin flame journey works, you know, you got the runner chaser dynamic where you come into some sort of relationship with your divine masculine. And that's not always a romantic one. Sometimes it's a friendship one even, or something like that, a work relationship. But there's this incredible pull towards each other. Sometimes you get in the romantic relationship, sometimes you don't, and then you're split apart. The divine masculine runs and the divine feminine generally chases because they're often kind of ahead of the game in intuition and understanding what this connection is, is about. And then they both, during that time, go off and learn their own lessons in their own ways. Um, look, if you have a divine masculine that's with a karmic partner, they're making their choice. You have to, sometimes you have to pull the mysticism out of the journey, right? It's, it's actually not a lot of mysticism. There's nothing, we need to demystify things. Your person, your, if you're a divine feminine, your divine masculine is a real person out there making real choices with other real people. So look, we hope that they're going to learn what they need to learn on this journey. And we hope that both the divine masculine and divine feminine will both do that and come to a place of peace with each other eventually. Some will come into a romantic union and, and live out their lives together. And um, when that happens, it's a power couple dynamic. It's amazing. Some will come to be friends and will be close. And that's beautiful and, and live separate lives. But have that connection be at peace and in harmony. Some are not going to get there in this lifetime because one or both partners don't really do the work necessary for that to happen. Uh, you can't affect what the other person does. All you can do is your part, the very best that you can, and live your life and be happy. Don't, don't get in the energy of waiting around for your person, especially Divine Feminines, please. Don't get in the energy of waiting around for your person to come to their senses. I said that. I said that. <laughs> um, look. As much as you love them and as much as you see that this could be something beautiful, their choice is their choice and they're not always going to choose you. You know, uh, it, this is a really, really tough journey. Some divine masculines will will have that awakening and, and wake up to it and see it. They'll, they'll, if they're with a karmic partner on their own, they'll leave that karmic partner. They'll come towards you and, and you have that communication and that understanding of the journey and that kind of thing some aren't aren't going to get there and I don't want anyone to have some kind of romanticized false hope about the fact that all twin flames come into union because they do not first of all you have to be able to recognize your twin flame in this lifetime I believe we all have one but you have to be a certain place in your soul's journey to even recognize that someone is your twin flame that um, you have to be incarnate at the same time. I do believe we're not all incarnate at the same time. You know, you, you ought to be in a certain age range. You know, one of you can't be 70 and the other one can't be 18. So there's a lot of factors that play in to twin flame union and dynamics. So when I read something like this, that, hey, I do see for someone, there's a karmic situation that is ending. I don't want everyone to jump on that bandwagon because it's going to be different for different waves of twin flames who are in different places. Um, it's also going to be different depending on if you and your person both choose to do the work. Um, I am not trying to discourage anyone from hope, from doing the work, from wanting what you want. I'm just trying to throw a really good reality check in there that we have to understand how this really works and be realistic about your life. Do your life while your person is doing their thing. Don't get stuck in a waiting energy. And I know we talk about it all the time, but it's very, very easy to get stuck in that waiting cycle. Could be that the universe has someone beautiful for you, just in line, just waiting because you built up some good karma and are ready to have that relationship. Hey, it could be that your divine masculine is not in a horrible, 
karmic relationship. Maybe they're in a, a soulmate karmic relationship with someone that they're still learning lessons for, with, but they're actually maybe happy. That's not always the wicked karmic. It's not always that, that um, stereotypical thing. Sometimes we learn lessons in soulmate relationships and those relationships don't work out, but, but that person wasn't a terrible human. Sometimes they are. Sometimes you have karmics that are just off the chain, awful, and that's part of your lesson too. But I just, I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm reading something that we, we get a lot, and um, I just want to make sure people are really, really tapping into themselves and listening to what feels absolutely right for you. Does it resonate in your soul? Not just, not just does it sound good to your ears, but does it resonate in your soul? Whenever you watch a collective reading, make sure that it resonates in your soul before you start setting up expectations based on readings. Okay, that's, that's actually a way to lower your vibration is setting up a bunch of expectations, then they don't get met, and then you get sad. And the only reason that I'm able to tell you this is because I've been there. So I'm not calling anyone out. I'm, I'm telling you things that I've learned in this community and on this journey myself and I have been there and I've set expectations and I've been set back I've been depressed because things didn't work out you know I felt something I really believe something and nothing so you have to just be careful on the journey I, I want you all to be happy I want you all to be fulfilled I want you to all to do your own thing Readings like this are to give you a heads up what might be going on for you, you know, and and give you kind of a that little steadying factor on on your path. And those the, it can be a really good tool, but just remember it's just a tool, okay. And I'm not trying to scare people off from readings. I just I care about you more than I care about numbers or something like that. You know, I, I want you to. I want you to have the facts. I want you to feel good about what's going on. And when you come into a reading, I don't want you to be confused. Um, I want you to feel good about it. I want, I don't want the reading to take from you. I want you to get from the reading. Okay. So anyway, this, the pre cards that we got for this, um, twin flame collective that we're reading for, there is this, a karmic cycle that's ending there. There is, a relationship with a, a queen of swords and I get that it's probably a younger person than the divine masculine or maybe the divine feminine you know it's probably a younger person because this this card says so um, this person is kind of cold and kind of cutting demanding maybe greedy okay and I feel like it's over it's I mean really actually gonna be over or is over so let's let's look at Divine Masculine's headspace. I know that was such a long thing. I'm gonna put a timestamp in just in case anyone wants to skip that whole thing, but I feel like it's important to hear, especially if you're newer to the journey. Um, it can be so confusing. And I don't want to add confusion. I'm here to help you, not hinder you, right? That's the whole reason I'm here is to help you because I know what it feels like. Um, to be confused and to not have any help, to not know what's happening. You feel like you're going crazy. I mean, it really is an awful feeling um, when you don't have anyone to guide you or talk to. Um, Ten of Wands is coming out again for a Divine Masculine's headspace. And then that's clarified by the world in reverse and the King of Swords in reverse which is very interesting because of the cards that we got. We got the Queen of Swords upright and the Ten of Wands in the pre-cards. This is a very specific message for Divine Masculine's headspace, and we'll get into that in a second. Tell me about Divine Masculine's heart space. We got the Fool. All right. What's happening? Okay. Tell me about um, what is Divine Masculine working through right now or a block or challenge for him. Tell me what's going on in Divine Masculine's 3D right now. What's he working on or what does he need to work on? 
what is going on with the divine masculine give me the truth here spirit what do we need to know something flipped eight of wands reversed okay and i feel like that's clarifying seven of wands yeah okay divine feminine's headspace where's divine feminine's headspace this week last time divine feminine's headspace was so much better i was so proud of where you guys are coming into two of pentacles okay Hmm. Divine Feminine's Heart Space. It's up for Divine Feminine's Heart Space. I'm going to clarify the ones that need it here in a minute. Sometimes you just need a different deck to clarify certain things. Divine Feminine's Heart Space. Okay. Four of Wands. Okay. Beautiful. Um, Divine Feminine, what are you working through right now? A block, a challenge, or what do you need to work through? What's going on there? And Divine Feminine's reality right now. What's going on? The Hermit in Reverse. Okay. And the, I always take this for Divine Masculine overall energy, and that's a judgment. And then we're clarifying with the Beginner's Tarot. This is my first tarot deck. Okay, so clarifying the Fool is the Five of Pentacles. And one more to clarify the Fool. Yeah, very, very nice energy, Divine Masculine. Stuff going on here. Um, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, right? Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Divine Feminine's Headspace. That's a lot. Okay. Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, and Justice Reversed. Put that down there. Clarify the Four of Wands for Divine Feminine's Heart Space. Oh, I can't take half the deck. Clarify Four of Wands for Divine Feminine's Heart Space. We've got Page of Pentacles in Reverse. And I want one more. Two of Wands in Reverse. Is my deck in Reverse? No, some of them will. Some of them always turn upside down, so it's supposed to. Um, clarify the Hermit for um, what Divine Feminine is working through or needs to work through. Blocks challenges. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit. Five of Swords in Reverse and the Two of Cups. Overall energy for Divine Feminine, King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, what's going on this week? Karmics in the Divine Feminine world. Okay. <laughs> Divine Feminine, who is this King of Pentacles in reverse? Divine Feminine has a karmic. Okay, we'll talk about it in a minute. It doesn't have to be a romantic karmic, but we'll see what we see. Um, this is the first time I've had this come up in a mirror message, a karmic for the divine then. And we know we all have them. So not a big shock, but it's different. <sighs> okay. Well, overall energy for divine masculine is judgment. It, it feels like there's some kind of, um, Decision pending finality. If Divine Masculine, his overall energy is he's made a decision and um, he's just waiting for it to become completely final. And we saw in the cards at the very beginning, the Queen of Swords is being cut out of this Divine Masculine's life. Ending to that cycle, um, putting down the burdens. It's just been a big burden. Um, okay, so we see that this, this decision to leave this karmic partner is all over Divine Masculine's energy right now. It's his overall energy. It's kind of what's going on in his world, and most of this reading is about that. However, not all of it. So we have in Divine Masculine's headspace, what is he thinking about right now? What's taking up his headspace? Putting down this burden, 
um, King of Swords in reverse, which is really interesting to me. So we got the King of, Queen of Swords as that cold cutting karmic partner that's leaving this divine masculine's life. And we've got King of Swords in reverse here. He, he is no longer viewing himself as her counterpart. Um, that his world with her has ended with the world in reverse and King of Swords. And his world as he's known it recently has just ended. And it's a huge burden. I mean, the ending of this relationship is messy. I'm getting messy. Ten wands all over the damn place. And he's trying to hold it together so hard right now. He's, I mean, mentally, he's trying to hold it together. He's trying to hold his temper together. This is a messy ending. Well, it's shaken up his whole world. Um, have a little compassion for Divine Masculine this week because he's going through it. I really feel it. And he is definitely no longer viewing this karmic as his counterpart. He knows that they're not a match. Yeah. I see him. Well, he's walking with these ten wands toward a structure. It's heavy right now. He's loaded down with problems because of this. And it feels like, he, I, I feel like he has to find a new home. For a lot of these divine masculines, they might have been living together. Something like that. It could be that this is a karmic person that was not a romantic partner for some. Could have been a friend that they were living with. It could have been um, a family member that they were living with. But I, I do feel that there is a karmic situation for sure with a feminine energy of some sort who is just not healthy to, for the masculine to be um, investing in or be around. And I, I feel like because of this, he's having to seek out a new home. Yeah. A physical home. Moving. And it's, I think, I feel like he's got to do it on his own. I don't feel like he has a lot of help. <laughs> we got the bull. Okay, this world card is interesting. We got the lion, the bull. There's a crow and there's a man here in the four corners of the world. Strength, stubbornness. And mental clarity is what I'm getting. I feel like this divine masculine feels, feels like they just lost a lot of opportunities in their life. Like their world is really kind of crumbling. And, and you know, part of it is because they had a lot of bravado on with this lion and this bull in reverse here in the world. It's like they're losing face at the same time, and they didn't want to lose face. This is a humbling experience for this masculine, and it's probably a really healthy experience at the same time. Nobody wants to be humbled, but some sometimes we need to to lose the bravado. You can't go through life with a mask on. You know, I'm I'm this big strong person when we all need each other and we all need help. Sometimes there's nobody. No man is an island, is what I'm hearing. Right? And so sometimes we need to learn that lesson. What's in the Divine Masculine's heart space, though? This Divine Masculine feels like this ending is giving him the ability to take a giant leap forward in his life. To something... The leap forward is to Divine Feminine, clearly. Someone that he left, abandoned... And someone that he stopped investing in altogether. He stopped putting in work. He stopped putting in energy. He stopped putting in resources. He stopped. There's a divine feminine here that he completely left out. And uh, it really, it really hurt the divine feminine too. It almost, for a while, it might have even kind of crippled you. Divine feminines. But now the Divine Masculine has been crippled in a similar way, which is interesting. This blow, whatever happened here that's shaken up Divine Masculine's life, it's a feeling like he's, karma is coming around for what happened with the Divine Feminine. 
the, the great news about this is that we have these four roses in the in the window of this five of pentacles so we have the five pentacles there but beneath the five pentacles there are these four roses that look like wands to me the roses look like fire the stems look like wands the four of wands is um it's the higher level commitment card it's the marriage card it's a union card so coming out of this whole mess is the possibility of union for these people. It's been some time too, like the grass is growing through the cracks in the sidewalk here. Like it's been a minute since this happened. It's this, this divine feminine has been out of this divine masculine's life for some time. Grass and weeds are starting to grow. It's not recent. Could be months, could be years. For some. I don't think it happened last week. Okay. So what are the challenges that Divine Masculine is working through right now? Or what does he need to do at this point in time? We got the Eight of Wands in reverse. This Eight of Wands is really unique. Let me show you why really unique look at this eight of wands there are two sets of wands there's eight wands that have been left on the ground and they're all just kind of brown and falling apart and there's a new eight wands that are on fire in the air and they're moving quickly The, the, the wands on the ground are facing the left. They're facing, um, which is to me, the past. These, these eight wands that are kind of left to rot. Our energy and time and effort had been put into something, and it's being, le it's being left by the wayside. It's being left in the past now. And we've got eight um, wands here that are arrows that have been set on fire and they're moving toward the future, toward the Divine Feminine side of the table. So the, the challenge, what Divine Masculine is working through is letting go of the past and moving toward the future. It's the transition. Divine Masculine needs to work on the transition. Um, the seven wands up here clarifying. Um, this is the ability to overcome the frustration and being on top of the situation now. It's just what it says on the card. Able to overcome your frustration, be on top of the situation. Um, there is a defensive energy here towards anyone that's going to criticize him for moving forward so quickly because I don't feel that my masculine is going to sit in this heavy energy for very long. I don't feel like this is going to be a long drawn out process for these, these divine masculines that we're reading for. I feel like they really are going to let those wands that, that these 10 wands, right? <laughs> I can't pick them up. Um, all these wands that he's holding are such a burden. He's going to let eight of those drop here and get a new fresh eight wands and send them flying toward the feminine, which is amazing. Um, now, if he's holding a ten of wands, he's going to drop eight of those. He's left with two. Two of wands is a passionate choice. He's going to make that passionate choice. I really do feel like it. He's going to soon feel like he's on top of the situation again. It's going to take a little time though because I, I don't think it's going to take forever but it's going to take a little time because right now his world is just like crumbled to dust. Yeah. Let's look at um, Divine Feminine side. i got to get some water here. Hold on. Sorry. I get so thirsty when I read. Okay. Two of Pentacles for Divine Feminine. Let's, let's look at the overall energy. I'm very curious, Divine Feminine, who is the King of Pentacles in reverse? Whenever I get a court card in reverse in a reading, 
almost always this is a karmic partner. So Divine Feminine has someone in their energy right now who is not the most stable or grounded person, but they're trying to get into Divine Feminine's energy. Under that is the Queen of Wands in reverse, the Three of Wands in reverse. Oh my gosh. It's not all in reverse, but I'm feeling this is for a reason. Look, and this is funny. So this masculine energy that's in Divine Feminines or in, or kind of trying to get into Divine Feminines. I'm hearing, oh God. Why am I hearing it that way? There's a divine, uh, there's a, no, not a divine masculine. There is a karmic masculine around divine feminine's energy is trying to get into her knickers is what I just heard. So <laughs> for those of you who don't know what knickers are, that means get into your pants. So queen of wands in reverse, this, the divine feminine is not having it though. There's no passion for this person. This person's unstable. They're not gr very grounded could be an air sign. I know we have a, an earth sign here. It could be an earth sign. could be an air sign um, because of the feeling of, of um, un ungroundedness it makes me feel up in the air. Um, but it could be that she like thought about it. I feel like Divine Feminine thought about this person. She might have let them part way into her energy, but I feel like she just is figuring out, this Divine Feminine is figuring out she's got no passion for this person. But the, I feel like they're still sticking around because they're such, they're in the overall energy. So there's a karmic around the divine feminine. <sighs> let me, let me see what I get for that. Hold on. I want to see. Let me pull. What do I get? Tell me about this karmic because now I'm feeling nosy and curious. Tell me about this karmic for divine feminine. Tell me. Give me a card or two. The sun in reverse. They don't make her happy. Tell me about this karmic. Ooh. Oh, wow. What is all this going on? Um, the magician. Someone, oh, it's someone kind of tricky. So this is someone that's using kind of... Um, Maybe they're not being truthful, or maybe they're trying to slide in the DMs kind of thing. Not, not being very sneaky, but look, this karmic person around Divine Feminine, I think I think Divine Feminine has learned enough in her journey um, that she can detect someone that's not on the up and up. But this is someone who's genuinely trying to get into her space. Uh, they don't make her happy, though. Don't make her happy. And remember her and him, the, the pronouns thing, is just to keep divine masculine, divine feminine straight. It doesn't mean, it doesn't have anything to do with body parts or how you identify. It's just, just to keep the story straight. Make the person how it fits your story, okay? Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like this, this king of pentacles in reverse is anyone to worry about. I think that divine feminine has that handled. But there is someone trying to get into her energy pretty hard there. And here, here she is in her headspace thinking about it. So, yeah, she thought about this, actually. She thought about this. Seriously thought about this, too. Because there, there she is juggling. A little confusion. Two situations. She's like, I've got my Divine Masculine over here, but he's doing his own thing, and I need to do my own thing. And here I have this person that's interested and they're clearly like working on getting her <laughs> is what I'm seeing. It's like someone like giving lots of compliments or maybe trying to take you on, you know, expensive dates or some. There's some way that this person is trying to wheedle into Divine Feminine space. And here she is actually trying to consider it. And I, I feel like it is that energy. There's that energy of Divine Feminine moving forward in her life because Divine Masculine is doing his own thing and he's taking his time and she needs to do her own thing. And it's perfectly okay to let someone else in your life. You're not supposed to sit around and wait for your Divine Counterpart. That can take months. That can take years. That can take decades for some people. So don't, um, don't think it's not okay to let other people in. It's, it's healthy to do that. 
if they're good for you, this, this one isn't good for you. But I think that Divine Feminine sees that because they are in reverse and she she's looking at this pentacle. I mean, she's got Divine Masculine over here because this is on the Divine Masculine side, right? And this pentacle is up in the air and this one is down lower. This one that she's looking at, I, I think she just sees that that's not going to work. Um, she definitely thinks that they don't compare to the Divine Masculine at all. And you know, there's this infinity symbol running around the two. And what what I find interesting about this particular, let me, let me pull it closer, in the infinity symbol, because she is looking for a long-term partner. She is looking for a life partner, someone that she can be happy with, you know, and, and grow with and build with. But in the infinity symbol, the divine masculine side here is all nice and perfect. But this person's side is wonky. It's like bent out of shape here. She can just see it's not a good fit. Um, Ace of Cups here. This person did offer them love and a new beginning. This person did offer them love and she thought about it. Because this is in her headspace. Three of Cups, you know. Did she want to start a third party situation? Is kind of what I'm feeling here and she just felt like there'd be no justice in this situation you know she doesn't want to if if divine feminine is gonna let someone in her energy a divine feminines that is at this advanced in their journey who's really learned a lot and grown a lot and understands themselves know their knows their worth knows their value if she's gonna let someone in her energy it's gonna be someone on her level that's worthy of her and, I, and I, what I'm seeing here is like, look, she considered it. There was an offer given, this King of Pentacles in reverse. Notice it's not a pentacle, it's a cup. So, you know, they maybe offered emotion, but nothing really stable. And here's Divine Feminine looking at it going, well, you know, Divine Masculine could come forward eventually. So I want to let someone, if I'm going to create a situation that could be a triangle in the future, I am going to only let someone in my life that is on my level, um, who's, who's going to be stable, um, who's going to really fit me. It, Divine Feminine is not going to let anyone in her life ever again that doesn't fit her. I just don't feel it if you're at this level in the game, right? And I shouldn't call it a game, but you know what I'm saying. There's no justice in that, letting someone in your energy that's not healthy for you. Um, you know, and introducing them to, like, when you're a twin flame, when you let someone else in your life, you are inter introducing that person to the twin flame dynamic. Doesn't mean you can't be happy with them. It doesn't mean you won't live your life with them. Doesn't mean you won't love them. But they, they should understand that you do have a twin flame and what that relationship's about and, and you know, what's gone on. And, you know, you can let them know, look, I'm, I'm choosing you. If they come forward someday and we're in a relationship, you know, maybe I'll come to peace with my twin flame. That we can just, you know, leave on peaceful terms so there isn't this push-pull energy. But um, I see the Divine Feminine here just making a choice against this one in particular. This one is not good for her. Um, what's in her heart, though? She wants a loving, stable relationship. And it's tough. She's, I mean, she's not, she's not gonna um, let someone kind of disrupt her stability with the page of pentacles in reverse. If they're not on her level, this is an immature, this is someone still learning in life. Someone that's not very stable when it's in reverse. This is her saying, look, I want my happy life. I want my stability. I want my life partner. I want my partner in crime. I want that person to grow with and it's not going to be someone um, who doesn't give me a mature offer who isn't mature themselves and isn't ready for what I bring to the table and then we got the two wands over she's not going to just make a passionate choice and jump at someone who isn't right okay that's what's in her heart she wants love with someone she doesn't want just anyone she wants the right person that she feels complete with that they feel complete with her 
I definitely see a really nice mature energy from the Divine Feminine in regards to this situation with this karmic that is around. We all have karmics that are come, coming around. We could have soulmates that come around while Divine Masculine is off doing work. We have to do our life too. That happens and that's okay. It, it can be more than okay. You know, Divine Masculine, you can't push them to do their thing. They've got to do it in their own time. I do see this one doing it. I've been seeing that energy for a year now. I remember reading something like this last December, and it could have been for different people, but it could just be a long process, which is pretty normal in a Twin Flame connection. What does Divine Feminine need to work on here? Well, she needs to come out of Hermit mode. Um, she needs to put herself out there a little more. And maybe that is with, you know, off, offering um, friendship, um, family time, getting together with people from work. Maybe it's with dating. You know, but th there is this need for the Divine Feminine to kind of come out of the shell a little bit right now. She's maybe doing her own thing too much. I mean, being independent is beautiful, but... Being around people um, is really necessary. Clarifying that is the Five of Swords in reverse. Look, you know, clearly you just don't want to add any conflict to your life. And I really get that. And I can see that in your decision with this karmic person. But I really feel like you do want a soulmate. You know, if, if, whether that's divine masculine, because your twin flame is just your highest level soulmate. Um, or whether that's another soulmate that enters the picture. I feel like Divine Feminine does want that. She just doesn't want it at the expense of causing more conflict in her life. So I'm really, I'm really proud that the Divine Feminine is really working through this right now. It's like coming out of that closed off phase where you're not letting anyone in and wanting a beautiful connection, but not adding something to your life that's just going to add conflict or you're going to get it and then not want it is what i'm getting that you know you don't want to go around breaking people's hearts too because if you get involved with someone that's not right for you a day a week a month two months down the road or something you're going to realize they're not right for you and you're going to break it off i guarantee you Divine feminines that are at this advanced in their journey, they don't get involved with people that aren't for their highest good. You might at, you might try it. I, I do see the consideration here. You could have even dated this person a bit because I really do see genuine consideration here and a genuine offer from someone that wasn't right, but it was an offer and it was considered. Yeah. Okay, let's get messages. Let's see, I'm gonna pull these up. And we're gonna get some Oracle cards from the Modern Love Oracle. And then we're gonna get some channeled song lyrics. And then I'm gonna pull individual cards for anyone that asked me to do that in the last mirror message reading last week. And if you'd like me to pull you, <laughs> getting my cards mixed up. If you'd like me to pull you a card next week in the next mirror message, in the comments of this one, just ask for a card, please draw me a card, something like that. And I would be more than happy to connect with you that way. Um, I really, really enjoy connecting with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Um, it'll just be a single card, but sometimes you get a really nice little message off of that. And it's just a free service that I'm offering while my channel's small enough to do it. Um, if you want a full-blown reading, I am actually just catching up literally today on all my readings. I'm so happy that that's happening. Um, should have all of them out by tomorrow. Um, so I'm open right now. I have space for readings. So if you'd like one, the information is at the beginning and end of my videos. It's also, um, in the description. Go to my website. My website is the only place you can purchase a reading. I don't have an Etsy. I will never WhatsApp you. Don't fall for scammers. I'm still pretty small, so you know I'm not really being victimized that way. But be careful. Don't ever 
my rule of thumb is if someone solicits a reading from you, you know, asks if you want a reading, don't take it. You go to them. Don't let someone come to you because it's almost always a scammer. Most credible tarot readers don't ask you if you want a reading. Okay. So what else do we need to know about this collective that we're reading for, this um, Swin Flynn collective that we're reading for right now? Treading water. What goes with treading water? Ah! Float, that makes sense, in reverse. I think I'm going to take it in reverse, too. A lot of watery energy here, a lot of the emotional energy. It's trying to tread through. I feel like Divine Masculine is just trying to... I feel like it's... I feel like this is mirrored energy, actually. Um, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm just dropping cards. I feel like it's mirrored energy for here. There's a lot of emotional things going on for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine right now. And I feel like have direction. I'm wishing longing for the future. I'm going to take that. And this is the bottom. I'm um, traveling light. I'm going to leave that in reverse too loud and clear. Okay, that's enough. So I usually don't take these in reverse unless I really feel like it. Look, I, th I feel like the, the counterparts in this connection are having a um, just a little bit of a challenge keeping their head above water emotionally they're just trying to get through right now it's just that I mean we saw what challenges divine masculine is having I feel like divine feminine with the karmics around is really um, trying to gauge their emotions and really having to weed through people a bit which is a healthy thing to be doing and I'm glad you're doing that but it is emotional. I mean, when you're considering someone's offer, you have to really dig in and see how you feel. It could be a little bit draining, especially if you have to turn someone down. I know for me, I will speak my truth, but it, it is it is hard to let someone that's interested in you know that you know you're not feeling it. Um, I always feel like it's better to do that like right up front, like right from go. As soon as you know it's not right, like say so. Don't don't keep someone hanging on. But there is this feeling of it just being a, an emotional rocky time right now on both sides. I feel like that's a mirrored energy. I do feel like both counterparts here are following spirit. I think that they're being led. And I, I feel like there's a lot of synchronicities. And with the numbers here, with the direction, with following signs here, I feel like there's a lot of synchronicities happening on both sides. You guys are seeing synchronistic numbers like left and right. I know every time, I, almost every time I look at the clock, it's something like 111 or 2, 222 or, you know, something like that. Almost always it's crazy how much it happens. I, I feel like that's happening on both sides and, and kind of for everyone. Um, both people here have a lot of hope for the future, though. It's not like there's any, there's nothing fatalistic here. It's just about treading water. It's about getting through this time keeping going look there is some baggage to leave off and that's coming right below float in reverse so it's like I feel like both sides have some things to really let go of and and get free so you can so you can um, not have anything weighing you down emotionally you know, you think about you're trying to float. If there's something heavy weighing you down, you're going to have a hard time floating up, right? You, there's some heavy things to let go of. Um, and look, nobody's talking. <laughs> so I really feel like there's um, probably no communication or no valuable communication right now between the counterparts. I don't feel like either one is speaking up right now. So that's something that you're going to have to work through. It's going to, you're going to have to come to the place where you can talk. All right, let's get some song lyrics. I want to get a few songs here. I'm actually, because, you know, a lot of people watch the collectives, I'm actually going to do a multiple choice. 
Um, and how am I going to do it? I'm going to use happiness. Um, I'm going to use my new red jasper heart. And I'm going to use the green kyanite. Okay, so these are your choices. I want you to choose one of these and you'll get some channeled song lyrics. So the green kyanite is the first set of lyrics. I'm going to get two lyrics for each one. Happiness is the second set of lyrics. And the red jasper heart is the third set of lyrics. So let's, let's start with the green kyanite. Okay, these are challenging to shuffle because there's so many. 140 cards in this deck. If you want um, the Modern Love Lyrics deck, the Modern Love Oracle deck, the Messages deck, um, those are linked in the description. You can purchase those right from the company that makes them. I don't stock them. But you're welcome to buy them if you want them. I know a lot of people um, on the Twin Flame journey end up reading um, a, some even open YouTube channels. So um, things like this can be really helpful on a Twin Flame journey. They really are kind of made for the Twin Flame Collective. Okay. All right. I feel like those are the two for Kyanite. So let's see what we got. Those of you who chose the green kyanite, and green um, is heart chakra. So those of you who are opening up your heart chakra or you feel like your person needs to open up your heart chakra, this is a great choice. Um, and there's so much inclusion, inclusion, so many flex in here. It's a gorgeous stone. Look at all that flash. So the first lyric that we got is um, Arms by Christina Perry. Um, I never thought you would be the one to hold my heart. But you came around and you knocked me off the ground from the start. You put your arms around me and I believe that it's easier for you to let me go. You put your arms around me and I'm home. The second lyric for Green Kyanite is always by Bon Jovi. This is one of my favorites. I love this song. Um, and I will love you baby always and I'll be there forever and a day always. I'll be there till the stars don't shine, till the heavens burst and the words don't rhyme. I know when I die, you'll be on my mind and I'll love you always. So nice. I'm so excited to get to use these cards. I've been wanting to make this deck forever. Okay, let's get to happiness. Those who chose the second option, the happiness stone. I just got this brand new stone for me. It kind of tumbled into my lap. I wasn't looking for it, but I fell in love with it when I saw it. Two lyrics for the second option, happiness. Two lyrics for the second option. And there's all kinds of lyrics in here, too. They're not always just sappy love lyrics. There's a lot of those, but um, there are all kinds of challenge lyrics in here, too. So it's and it's just like a regular reading. You never know what you're going to get. It's just going to be really based on whatever's happening for you and your connection. I think I'm going to do these in every mirror message from now on out. I really like them. Okay. So the first one is Ed Sheeran. I'm a big Sheeran fan. Um, don't fuck with my love. That heart is so cold all over my own. I don't want to know that, babe. Don't fuck with my love. I told her she knows. Take aim and reload. So this is all about the song. I don't know if you know the song is Don't by Ed Sheeran. And it's, it's basically all about someone that met someone that they thought they were just going to have a good time with. And they really fell in love with them. And that person cheated. And um, that person didn't feel quite the same. And so that's kind of the lyrics there. And then the second one is Collide by Howie Day. I love this song. Even the best fall down sometimes. Even the stars refuse to shine. Out of the back you fall in time. I somehow find you and I collide. Don't stop here. I lost my place. I'm close behind. So this song is all about... Like, look, 
we never let each other go. I mean, we're always in each other's energy. And don't give up. I'm right behind you. Yeah. All right. Let's get a couple of lyrics for three, the Red Jasper Hearts. What do we have for the Red Jasper Heart people? What do we have for the Red Jasper Heart people? As a bonus to the those of you who stayed till the end, I'm actually going to do a pendulum question. I don't think I'm going to announce that from now on. It's for the people that stay. I genuinely appreciate you guys. So get a yes or no question in mind if you have one that you want to be answered in regards to your twin flame connection, or, or really it could be anything. Uh, you guys get three lyrics for the Jasper Heart, too. Um, and we're going to do a quick yes or no question as a thank you so much for sticking with me. All right, the first lyric for Red Jasper Heart is, I will follow you into the dark by Death Cab for Cutie. Um, no blinding light or tunnels to gates of white, just our hands clasped so tight, waiting for the hint of a spark. If heaven and hell decide that they both are satisfied, illuminate the nose on their vacancy signs. If there's no one beside you when your soul embarks, then I'll follow you into the dark. And this is all about, basically, I'll follow you anywhere. Your person will follow you anywhere. They love you that much. The next one is I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz. And when you're needing your space to do some navigating, I'll be here patiently waiting to see what you find. Because even the stars, they burn. Some even fall to the earth. We've got a lot to learn. God knows we're worth it. No, I won't give up. And you got a third one. It is It Kills Me by Jason Mraz. We got two Jason Mraz songs. That's crazy. Out of 140 lyrics. Um, well, all I really want to do is love you. A kind much closer than friends use. But I still can't say it after all we've been through. And I really want... And Sorry. And all I really want from you is to feel me as the feeling inside keeps building, and I will find a way to you if it kills me, if it kills me. Wow. This person is not giving up on you anytime soon, I'm telling you that. Whoever you are, whichever counterpart you are, doesn't matter. Your person, this is how they're feeling. All right, let's get to that question. Okay, so, um, if you haven't seen me do a pendulum reading before, I hold it by the bead at the top here so I don't affect the chain and I anchor my elbow on the table and I make a connection between my hands and I'm going to manipulate it here so you can see. But it goes this direction back and forth, that's a yes. It goes this direction, right to left, that's a no. For some people that changes but for me that never changes. I'm very much a creature of habit, I like it to be the same. The spirit knows me. All right. Get your question in mind, a yes or no question, and I'm about to do that. We're going to ask three times for confirmation. Okay, for the question for the watchers of this video, is it yes or no? It's so slow. It's a yes for sure. On the first ask, pendulum stop. Pendulum stop. I gotta shake out my hand. <laughs> Pins and needle feeling. That's weird. I never get that. <sighs> okay. For the watchers of this video, is their question yes or no? It's kind of a shaky yes. I'm going to ask one more time. It was like an all. Oh, it's like this feeling. It, it's a weird. The, the answer to this feeling is like, yes. <laughs> it's not like a strong yes. It's like, yeah. It's like almost like someone doesn't want to tell you that it's yes. That's interesting. 
I've, I've never had that happen before, the pendulum. All right, one more time. Is the answer to the watcher's question yes or no? This time is more definite. That's a yes. Okay. Your question is yes. Last time I did a pendulum, it was no. So, All right, guys. I love you. Make sure and ask me if you want a card for next time, a personal card reading at the end of the video. And I'm about to look up the people that wanted a personal card reading now. Hold on one second. I don't think I'm going to stop. I'm just going to go through these. Mirror message. There it is. Hold on. <laughs> Pause that. Okay, we got a lot of comments here, so let me work, work through. We're going to start with Odette. We're going to start with Odette. Let me put these aside. Um, I'm going to use the Tarot of Dreams today. Okay, for Odette, for Odette O, give me a card, please. What does Odette need to know right now? What will be helpful for Odette? Spirit, please. For Odette, tell me what will be helpful for her. What will be helpful for Odette? Okay, we're going to get Page of Cups. Let's see what I'm getting from the Page of Cups. Odette, you feel like you're owed an apology here. And I think that your person knows that you're owed an apology. This is in regards to your Twin Flame. So here's something weird that I've never noticed in this card. There's initials here or letters here. There's the letter C and M. I don't know if that means anything to you. I don't know if you can see that much detail here, but there is a little C and a little M there that I've never noticed. So I don't know if that means anything to you, but I wanted to point it out. There's this pillar in the background of this page of cups and it's hot. it's like a mirror reflection in the water. There's this mirroring energy. So I kind of feel like your person thinks they're an apology too. There's isn't just their, their desire for that isn't as strong as yours. They're feeling that they, but there is this kind of feeling from your person that, well, I need to apologize, but, but she needs to apologize too. And there's this feeling of putting on a brave face for each other, like you're dressing it up to make it look like you're not hurt. But I really do feel like you're both feeling insecure about the other. I get this feeling of dressing it up like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't even worry about it. That, that kind of, there's a J here too. There's a J, a C, and an M. I'm sorry, I had to say that. Um... Yeah, there's this need for you guys to drop that I'm fine thing and let the other person know how you really feel. When the time comes, when you do communicate, it's really important that you drop that, oh, I'm okay, I'm not really hurt. You gotta be super honest about how much this hurt you. You have to let your vulnerability show because you, you are feeling vulner, vulnerable about this person and they are feeling vulnerable too. You guys very much mirror each other. I don't even think you know that. I think that they hide it. And there might be an apology on both sides. I don't know your situation. I, I get that the apology for them might might not be for so much. Maybe it's just for like a way that you reacted or something. But um, I, I feel like when you do communicate, just drop the mask and be vulnerable with each other. Otherwise, you're not going to really know how each other's feels, and it's not going to work. Okay? Let's see what we get for the next person. We've got Tanya. Tanya. 
Tanya P. My friend, Two of Wands, you got a choice to make here. You got a path that leads you somewhere cool and a path that leads you somewhere more passionate. So, I mean, I feel like you have this choice to make and like one you feel more passionate about and one you're more cool headed about. I feel like you don't know which way to go. What I'm getting here is either way that you choose is going to be fine. Oh, this is interesting. So, what I'm getting from this card is that the one path you can take is towards someone masculine. There's a path that you can take towards someone masculine, or there's a, a path that you can take um, towards someone feminine, and I, it, don't get me wrong, this doesn't have to be about romantic relationships. I mean, it could be. I don't, I don't know you personally, but I'm not suggesting that it is. But there's definitely like a, a path that you can take with a masculine person. There's a path that you can take with a feminine person. This one's got more passion. This one's just more logical more logical. And this could be in um, business or work or friendship. But what Spirit's saying is either way you go, it's going to be fine. It's, it's very, very equal. There is no right or wrong here. Just go with what, go with your intuition, follow that, and it's not going to lead you astray, okay? It's going to be okay either way. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, Jackie Joe. Card for Jackie Joe. Card for Jackie Joe. What do we have for you today? Love, let's see. Whoa, too many. Just one card, please. One card, please. One card, please. Oops, okay, we're going to take the top one, which is the Eight of Swords. Okay, here's you feeling very vulnerable. I feel like you're in a very vulnerable state right now. You're just feeling like you're barely kind of, there's something in your life you're kind of just barely keeping together. And you feel like you could get hurt pretty easy. I see you looking for a way out of it but it doesn't feel like there's a way out of it. And I mean, this could be in love or this could be in another place in your life. What, what you need to understand about this situation is it feels a bit treacherous, but spirit has your back here. I mean, in this card, there's this feminine figure trapped in this bubble, right? And look at all the sword tips are kind of holding up the bubble. So it's just, it's so precarious. But look at the ends of the sword tips, those light on every tips. Like, spirit is protecting you. You're protected. You're going to be okay. I promise you. You're going to be okay. Whatever seems precarious, it's going to work out. Okay? If you fall, if you, I feel like you're balancing, and if you fall... You're going to have a soft landing. All right. So um, there's there's some yeah, something that's giving you anxiety. And um, what I'm seeing here is is you're protected. You're going to be OK. All right. Let's see who is next. We've got Lynn F. Lynn F. I remember to ring my bell. Lynn F. I don't really need to do it, but I like to. Lynn F. Lynn F. Lynn F. Oh, the lovers, Lynn. Soulmate energy. You have a soulmate around you. Someone um, maybe has the initial with a T. T or maybe an H. I don't know. I don't know I'm getting initials. I usually don't get initials in cards. I just am seeing it right now. There's also a C and a V here. How is that possible? 
why am I getting all these initials? I see a T, I see a H, I see C, and I see V. I don't know if that's going to mean anything to you, but I'm th throwing it out there because I see it. I see a very balanced soulmate connection here for you. This could be with your twin flame. This could be with someone else around you that you're considering letting into your life. I see that if you let this person into your life, it's going to be a lot of happiness. It's going to be a lot of warmth. Let's see four candles here, four of wands. I mean, this could lead to marriage or higher level commitment. And actually, there's two more back here. So that's six. I mean, that's victory. That's real happiness. So, I mean, we got... There's a choice to make with the two up here, with the two of wands. There's In the card, there's a choice to make, a passionate choice to make for you. Um, but I feel like if you make it, it will lead to some a really nice commitment and, and happiness, victory. You're going to feel like you want in life. Whatever's, whatever this is, whatever you're considering right now, there's someone you're considering, whether it's holding out for your twin flame, feeling like they're like you might feel like it's on the tip of your tongue like them they're, they're going to come forward or actually it could be another person in your energy and if you're watching the reading it's not that king of pentacles in reverse it's not someone else i feel like another card three of cups celebration happiness full cups um three of cups can be a third party situation and you know that that really makes me feel like it's not your twin flame i feel like it could be someone else but I feel like it's going to make you very happy. Okay. I don't, I don't want to get too personal, but I'm also seeing that the sex could be really off the chain. Just, I'm just saying. I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> okay. Who is next? Holly. Holly L. Who, what do we have for Holly? What do you have for Holly? One beautiful card for Holly. What do we got? What does she need to know? What does she need to know? What does Holly need to know? Um, Holly needs a different deck. Hold on. Um, which one? Which one? We're, we're going to do Grand Lefts. Let me make sure I got it. Upright. Okay. Holly. Okay, there it is. The lovers again. Oh my god. Holly, soulmate energy around you. What is up with all these? All of a sudden, there's a, this outpouring of other people in our energy, and I mean, it's it's not a bad thing. I think it's beautiful. There is someone in and around your energy that is is a very good match for you. It could be your twin flame coming in. Um, it very well could be a soulmate energy here that is not your twin flame. But I really, really see this as very balanced. I, I feel like you guys are both very balanced. One of you carries more masculine and one of you carries more feminine, which is pretty standard. But I feel like you balance each other out in a beautiful way. And I feel like there's this really nice soul connection. You might feel very stuck because of your twin. I feel like Hermit in Reverse. I don't want to go through too much. But you might feel a little bit stuck with this. Like we have the Hermit in the Reverse for the, what the divine. I feel like. I feel like this twin, um, twin flame mirror message that we just did really applies to you with the hermit in reverse as what the divine feminine is working through because I'm seeing that here. I feel this stuck energy from you like, should I let this other person in? Should I let a new person in? Uh, it, it looks really good. This person, this soulmate energy maybe that's coming for you. Um, I feel like it would really balance you out in a really nice way. It could be a really nice relationship for you. Yeah. You just you just have to make yourself available for it. You know, to, you can't let the twin flame journey bind your hands for your whole life. You know? You don't know when your divine masculine will do their work or come forward. 
Um, and you gotta you gotta live your life and be happy in the meantime. And I really, really advocate for that. What whatever that means for you. It might not mean another person, but it might. Four of coins in reverse. Yeah, you gotta stop holding back. Gotta stop holding back. Okay, let's see if there's someone else that wanted a card. Hold on. Already got a jet. I guess there's a lot of uh, messages here, so I just got to scroll up a little bit. Oh, Josephine. Okay, one for Josephine. Card for Josephine. Josephine, is this deck good? Yes, this deck is good. Okay, Josephine. Josephine. Josephine, that I, I'm okay. Let me just say that the mirror message might really apply to you with that karmic that's been in your energy that wasn't good for you. I just I got that hit. That might really be for you. I don't know. I don't really know anything about you, but I, I get that vibe. Okay, I get you. Hanged man and um, in the reverse in the sun. It's time for you to stop hanging yourself up in that tree. You've got your new perspective. I mean, you really, um, I feel like you, you put yourself in like a timeout because you wanted to make sure that you had good perspective on things. And I think that you gained that and it's time to, um, it's time to come out of that isolated energy and and find your happiness because it's there waiting for you i feel like you have a really really beautiful life waiting for you once you um get back in the game here is what i'm hearing you you have good perspective on what's good for you and what's not now i really feel it i feel like you've done your work i feel like you've done a lot of work and I see this graceful person. There's something graceful about you now. It's like this transformation that's happened with you where um, I'm seeing almost like a dancer. Graceful is what I'm hearing. It's, it's very marked and at the transformation with you and people can see it. Like people around you can feel it and see it. You got a lot of happiness waiting for you once you come out of that tree, love. Okay, let's see if anyone else needed a card here. Um, let me make sure that's it. Okay. Thank you so much. Make sure and ask for a card next time. If you want one in this, the comments of this reading, um, please hit like for me on the video. I genuinely appreciate that energy exchange. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.